join me again. This is the uh, where I was last week, heading towards this pub. Look at him not his scarf and his hat on. Who do you think he is? 1930s. Dear. Look at that lot. Bridge number three. Remember that number one going through that gap? Well, this is number three now. This quirky little marina next to this pub. It's the horseshoe, is it? Yeah, the horseshoe. Uh, if you look inside this, uh, just under this little bridge here, it's like a quirky little marina where all these um, GRP boats are moored up, little narrow boats and stuff like that. Just look down there, look, just hiding away, look, you never know it was there, would you? Quite a few boats down there, I think, all tucked away. Amazing. This is uh, Lion's boatyard on the right hand side here. Uh, I'm just going to pull in and get some supplies. They sell diesel and coal, and uh, they've got a chandler, lovely chandlery. And the young lady uh, who runs that place, she's been there 20 odd years, I think. They live on a boat there as well. So uh, I'm just going to get myself topped up, get the old diesel and have a mooch around the shop and let's see uh, what we can do. I didn't film that section because uh, I was too busy running around doing water and uh, getting diesel and that kind of stuff going in the shop. Uh, but it was very, very cheap diesel, 76 pence a litre I think it was, fantastic. I only got 20 quid's worth, I didn't need a lot, I thought I'd just sort of top it up while in there. But I moored up just around the corner from that uh, from that boatyard. Look at that lot, I've moored right next to a golf course. I couldn't even place, it was closed. My original intention was to go straight into Birmingham, but I ended up turning right, going through Solihull got these locks here look and you're going back up again the Grand Union back into Birmingham because of that um, that stabbing it put me off slightly and I was talking to the policeman about it he said you're better off turning right at Kings Norton and going just for a few days and come back up again when it's calmed down a bit so I, that's what I did I don't know what it is but I've got some I've got an allergic reaction to getting stabbed so I'd rather not uh, stay around that area I think I'll uh, go on eBay and look for a second hand stab vest. You know, I'm making this uh, video on my phone and I can't see that sign. You might have to see it on any big screens, I'm not sure. That's a lovely little uh, cottage there, isn't it, on the side? Nice. Sort of a nice day, it's. Um, Right, not windy. Uh, good day for cruising, really. We're making good headway. This is the bridge number five now. A, uh, a very imposing bridge school road my mate Graham will know this uh, area inside out spent his youth around here a lot causing trouble and leaving litter no not really that's somebody else's rubbish but yeah a very very imposing bridge there with a nice arch to it lots of skilled bricklayers I'd imagine years ago putting that up must have looked amazing when this canal was first built and these, all these bridges were all brand new. It was so advanced for its time. You're building these canals through cities and stuff, it's incredible, wasn't it? Looks like some old mooring ropes there or something. That's one of 
one of those signs that you get when you're coming in from the pub smashed you stick it on your head and you say to your mate look at me look I end up with it at home this is unusual this uh these cranes they normally oh it's a heron I think it's a heron they normally fly off this one seems to be uh, All right. much more tamer than the usual ones they normally fly in front and then sit there doing that and then they fly off again when you come past them they keep doing that all day bridge number seven Shirley drawbridge but at the time I was passing here the uh, I think there's a maintenance work done on the bridge so if, lucky for me it was constantly open but when I came back up at another time it was uh, it was it was working again so see the boat there that narrow boat just in front of my boat there was an engineer working on that and he gave me some advice about the noise from my engine I did make a video about the uh, ringing noise from my engine which was bloody annoying it turned out to be a engine mount washer rattling I thought it was the gearbox blowing up but uh, that was useful I've been talking to a, a narrowboat engineer who was, had his head inside the engine bay of his narrowboat and he could hear the ringing from my engine he said what's that? I said I don't know man I'm trying to find it it's driving me mad he said it might be uh, underneath engine mount bolt has come loose. So that's something I'm going to check now. Alright. So this noise is driving me crazy. This rattling noise, this ringing noise. Can't find it. I don't know what it is. Just tight. Very tight from. Come on baby. around the corner and you got this like a little paradise area you come out the uh, rough rubbish areas and you got this you know let's think about these uh, canals you just uh, never know what you're going to find on each find each corner Uh, this vlog's ideal for you this one's unusual it's got these uh, sort of arched spines inside lot made of brick must put spines in between the girders of this steel girders and then put these brick arches for strength in between incredible bit of uh, work there fire on now look ready for getting warm later it's getting a bit nippy now 
There's a nip in the air. This is interesting, it looks like a little arm in the water, doesn't it, look? This is an incredible building, just sort of appeared out of nowhere. It's Cornwood Casa, I think they call it. C A S S A. Casa or Casa. Very, very unusual complex. It's got this huge water feature in the center. It's just surrounded by all these very, very, all these flats and stuff. It's very, very Smashing unusual. Place, isn't it? I, was, I was quite shocked. I'd never seen anything like it. Wow. Afternoon. It's a cracking place, though, isn't it? feature in the middle of it. Wow. Looks like her uh, fallen tree there that's been chopped down sometimes they'll leave uh, the chopped up tree and bits for the boaters and uh, passers-by so you can put it on your wood stove Lady Lane Wharf I might stay here for a bit Lane Wharf. Gas, pump out, moorings, water, laundry, L sand, everything you need there. I managed to get a, uh, a mooring at the end of these row of boats on the uh, left hand side. The right hand side is permanent moorings for this Lady Lady Lane Wharf. Um, there's another split off to that uh, canal, it's full of boats. It's all the stuff that you need there, good atmosphere, safe moorings. That's me leaving it there a lot, but you can see it's a good armco and a good place to stay. I'd just like to say um, a big thank you to my mate Nigel and uh, my mate Graham hello Graham, Nigel and to my daughter Katie and Bradley for giving me a good pep talk the other day because I was feeling a bit down and they sort of cheered me up thanks for that you two and also to Leon, Sherelle and Callum for just being there for me when I needed them you know sometimes it's getting a bit lonely sometimes, it, it, not all the time, I'm very very good with my own company but sometimes I just need to hear a friendly voice or something and they've been there for me and I appreciate all of you, all my friends and family and all the people that I talk to along the canal side as well, so big thank you to everybody, so uh, this time of need, we need support, we need people around us, we need to talk and uh, God bless all of you. Anyway thanks for joining me and maybe together we can explore the next part of this journey I'm just leaving there again look i know you've seen it once already but i'm leaving again see you later